for the world and he will be so dearly missed. We love him, but God loved him more. May our brother rest in peace. This is my tribute to my uncle, Jiri. The last few words I'd like to add, I hope I speak in truth. On behalf of Uncle D's nephews and nieces, we were all very lucky and honored to have been blessed with a soul like Uncle Jiri, who we could call our uncle. Knowing him was a blessing enough, but to call him family is one of the highest honors the good Lord bestowed on us. We all have legendary memories that have shaped our lives and will be remembered for as long as we can. We will love you forever and beyond. Uncle Diri, Uncle Di, Uncle Nyoto, Digalos, Kakash, we love you. And in your own words, for everything else, there's a MasterCard. On the 10th of June, my mom had a bouncing baby boy who came out with a smile. Everyone in the family was shouting for joy as you are the last born. Ever since that day, we have remained jovial and very humorous. Jiri Bito, as we all called you, you have left too soon. <laughs> The memories of 6th of April, 2021 is in the morning when I made a phone call to you. We will linger in my memory for a very, very long time. I still hear the words you told me. Instead of calling the paramedics, I'll call the GP. Those words, I can still hear them. I will miss the calls and text messages in the middle of the night. My brother would wake up in the middle of the night, and if he thinks about you, he will ring you. He used to tell me, Shiko Vito, where be you? He would ask. You know, Adani, I love you so much, he would tell me. Forever in our minds. Koma Dayo, we love you, we loved you in your life. And we always loved you even in death. Jiri Komadayo, as a tribute, and that represents even the whole family because he used to do the same to each one of us. Thank you. God bless. Praise the Lord. God is good and all the time. Yeah, it's very important to remember that. And even at a time of mourning, Let's not forget that God is still good. Amen. And I want us to have a time of the word. I only have 10 minutes. So I will go back to the scriptures which we are read. In Isaiah 43, verse 2 and 3a, the Bible says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burnt, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Psalm 23, 4, it says, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Uh, when God gave me these two scriptures, what came into my mind is, um, is that God was speaking to his people and telling them that though they may go through, in this life, we go through different types of circumstances. We go through challenges. And, and I believe this is not only for the family, the Magwas a family. This word is for all of us because if we are not going through something today,
tomorrow you might be going through something. And this is to comfort and to prepare us. And this is the, the, the topic that I gave this, uh, this word, that God will see you through. Somebody say, God will see me through. I, I got the word, God will see me through, or God will lead me through. And I compared it with the word that we normally use. When we see, uh, I will see you off. You know, when you are seeing somebody off, you may only get to the gate and then you let them go alone to their home. But when God says to his people, I will be with you through the waters, through the fire, wherever you will go, he is not seeing us off. He doesn't see, accompany us, have the journey. He is saying, from A to Z, I am going to be with you. And, and, I, and I took this example that um, many times we have had people killed at their gates. So you escorted them at, to your gate and then from your gate to their gate, actually they find people waiting for them at the gate, and they are killed at their gate. But God is saying, I will take you from one gate to the other gate. I will be with you. I am not escorting you and then leave you to cover the remaining distance alone. I am going to be with you. And, and you know, I, 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 this is the, 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 the definition of those two words, seeing of and a seeing through. So the seeing of is escorting someone to the airport or to the station or to the gate or to the port. And then you leave them to do the rest of the stuff. But when God, uh, the, the meaning of the word seeing uh, someone uh, through is to make it possible for someone to continue to the end of something especially something unpleasant or difficult. Amen. So when God says he is going through, he is, he is going to see you through or he is leading you through, he is able to take you to the airport, get into the plane with you, come out of the plane with you, and go with you wherever you are going. Because God is omnipresent. He is everywhere at any given time. Hallelujah. And, and, and God, when he says, there is nothing you should fear because I am with you, is because God also is on, an, on, 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 uh, omnipotent. That means he is all powerful, that means whatever you might, whatever challenge you might meet along the way, the one that has got all the power is with you and he is going to conquer, he is going to fight for you and you will have victory. Hallelujah. God is also all knowing. He knows the dangers at, along the way or at, the, at your gate, at the gate where some thugs might be waiting for you. And so he knows that if you get there, while they are still there, they might kill you. So he diverts you. He can divert you for you to be somewhere else until they go. And then now he tells you now, you can go back home because I know it's safe. He sees the end from the beginning. Somebody say, God will see me through. So I want to say to the, to the uh, uh, Mugwas uh, family and uh, to every one of us, whatever you are going through today, whatever you might go through tomorrow, sometimes it could be in marriage. Sometimes it could be uh, parenting. Sometimes it could be your career. 
Sometimes it could be like in this strange country, a status, and you are going through stuff. You don't know whether you are going to come out to the other side. But God gave me this prophetic word for somebody and not for somebody really, but for all of us, that we should be of good cheer because we are not alone. God is working with us to give us victory and to fight our battles along the way and to make us arrive safely. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want this word to sing. Somebody say, God will lead me through. And you know, when David says, even though I walk through uh, uh, the, the shadow of the folly of death, I will not fear because the Lord is with me. You know, when you have shadow, like now this casket, there is a shadow when you look. When you stand near the tree out there, there is a shadow. Now the shadow means that the object is there. So David was saying, actually, when you are, they, they normally call it a near death experience because the de if you can see the, the shadow of death, that means the death is present. But he said, even when it, at, at a near uh, a death experience, I will not fear because God, you are with me. Hallelujah. I have come to tell somebody, no matter what you are going through, God is with you and he will see you through. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. And so we are going to, to have the last prayer and then we shall move.